the Nets could match anybody out there, and it's because of the execution level, the confidence on offense, the cohesion, the teamwork, everything falling into place. This is without one of the top players in the NBA, Kevin Durant. And it's something that you tend to forget, given how they've been playing. Yep. But it's the fact that they're playing and having fun. And that is evident on the floor. The togetherness, the connectivity. I think we point to the fact that, and James Harden has said this quite a bit, Steve Nash, everyone understands their roles, and their goal is to be in exceptional in their roles, but do so in a collective yep. manner. And we continue to see that throughout the course of the game. And I think even just the fact that they were flat to start the first quarter. They were. And they struggled both ends of the floor. They weren't hitting shots. But it was the tone they set coming out of the second quarter and the sustained level of execution, of intensity. And those are the values that have now become a habit. And you just hit on something that I think has really felt different about this team. People have asked, well, what's changed? Earlier in the season, if they went down by 10, it was going to be a struggle. It was going to take a lot of effort to get back into a game. They go down 10 currently and not to say that you take anything for granted, but they chipped away, they cut it to four in the first quarter, and then the second quarter they just kicked it up to another notch. And that's what we're seeing. This team can just run away from teams or out-execute them and simply outscore them. And I think you can point to a lot of different categories, a lot of different areas, but something that we're now seeing on a repeated basis is the fact that the Nets are limiting their own turnovers mm -hmm. and not allowing opponents to score off of their miscues, but they're generating their own. They're putting pressure on the defensive end. They've got active hands. They're shooting the gaps. And so tonight they come away with 24 points off yep. of the Magic Turnovers, a team that does not do that very often. But I think it's just that idea of the level of physicality. We're going to make you feel us. And that is something that they're now starting to do game after game. Up next, Dallas Mavericks, nationally televised game. And we know when you've got one of the top players in the NBA, that makes you dangerous. No matter what your record says you are, hovering around the 500 mark for Dallas. But you've got Luka Doncic, and he's going to be a problem and a challenge for Brooklyn. Yeah, in a well-coached team in Rick Carlisle, so you know that he's going to have them ready. The fact that they are playing Philadelphia tonight uh, and struggling against them it, at this point, I think, you know, what you can expect from Dallas is that they will have scoring options. Yep. They will have a lot of potency um, led by Luka Doncic. And for the Nets, it's can they keep coming back game after game with the level of execution and the level of focus that we have seen now throughout the course of this eight-game win streak. And during this streak, they're doing it every which way. This one just happened to be of the blowout variety. Back to you, Bob and Frank. Burton, Sarah.